We're south of Stockholm, Sweden, where the local hospital is building an addition on adjacent property. And as you can see, the terrain is very challenging, very rocky, as is much of Scandinavia. Drilling and blasting, of course, play a critical role in being able to move this rock and manipulate it, reaching an engineer's design. Here we see a blast hole design on CAD, in this case Carlson desktop software, and this design file can be loaded into Carlson's drill grade system that outfits the drill. There's a computer, the software, an array of axial sensors by Transtronic AB out of Sweden, and GNSS positioning to give us heading uh, and allows us to monitor the complete articulation of the drill. This way the operator can navigate to the design hole, then position the mast in whatever angle to accurately match the engineer's drawing. Once the drilling begins, Carlson's drill grade software is showing us here that we know the position of the angle of the mast, we see our penetration, and there's various fields of data here that allow the operator to drill this pattern by design as accurately as possible. By accurately matching the engineer's design, we get optimal blasting, which means optimal fragmentation, that makes the material more productive downstream when removing. The next step after drilling, of course, is to remove all of the equipment from the site. We can see the GPS systems on the two drills here. And then the site, or the blast area, is covered up with tarp, it's covered up with uh, uh, old tires, just to lay across the top of the blast area to reduce the amount of fly rock uh, as a result of the blast. Again, uh, this is in a populated area near the existing hospital. So the all clear sound is given and the machines go back out, break up the rock based on how well the site was blasted. The material is moved. Uh, in this case, there was a crusher on site and the material is removed and we start all over again. Every group, we gon' make this shit happen right here.